Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about the water resources engineering course. And the question will be from the subject of uh, drainage. And let's read the question and solve it. The compute the spacing between the two successive drains under steady state case for the following data. The root zone depth is 1.5 meter. Drains are located at 1.8 meter below the ground surface. Take D is equal to 6.7. Q is 1.2 and K equal to 0.5 meter and R0, the, di the diameter of the drains are equal to, uh, sorry, is equal to 6.25 centimeter. And we're going to use Donnan's, Dagen's and Hugo's equation. We are going to solve the question. So let's start with the uh, Donnan's equation. From the Donald's equation, L square equal to 4K multiplied B square minus D square over Q. So let's check from this shape and find uh, B and D and solve the question. And uh, uh, let's write the equation here also first. 4 multiplied K. What is K? 0.5. And multiplied parenthesis b square what is b b is here look at here d is the depth of drains so 0.8 meter okay here you can see and this is the ground uh, the root depth zone is 1.1 uh, one, sorry 1.5 from that point until that point 1.5 meter and this is uh, 6.7 this is d 6.7 meter and what is b if it is 1.8, if it is 1.5, this will be 0.3, okay? And 6.7 and 0.3, this will be 7 as B. So 7 squared minus D, what is D? D is 6.7 over Q. What is Q? Q is 1.2 millimeter per day. So we are going to write it as a meter per day, okay? So I'm going to divide it uh, 1000 and it will be 0 0.0012 as a, the value of Q. From this equation, I'm going to obtain L as 82.8 meter for the, due to Donald's equation. So now let's uh, find for uh, Dagen's equation also. Due to Dagen's equation, the formula is something like this. L equal to K multiplied, multiplied with H over Q over 4 and multiplied L over 2D and minus beta. And now we determine the beta, I'm going to uh, first say about it. I'm going to um, uh, determine the beta from the table 11.4, okay? Table, sorry, table 11.4. And uh, pi multiplied R0 over D equal to 0.03 due to that table, beta will be equal to minus 3. Now I obtain the value of beta. So let's uh, determine the, uh, let's just remind, yeah, let's, let's write the formulation. For the formulation, K will be 0 0.5 multiplied 0 0.3 over Q. What is Q? Q you can see here, right here. I divided 1000 to convert to meter. 0 0.012 over 4 multiplied uh, L over 2 multiplied 6.7 because you remember D before the, the, from the previous uh, equation and plus 3, okay? And now this equal to L. So now you can see I have an L here, I have an L here. So I'm going to uh, determine from a second degree uh, and one unknown uh, equation. So let's find it. So it's going to be something like this. Let's simplify it. 0 0.003 multiplied L plus 
over 13.3 and multiply it 6 sorry multiply with L equal to 0 0.15 okay this is 0 0.15 so when I uh, simplify this one I'm gonna obtain uh, uh, for an equation like that 20 yeah 224 L square plus 9000 L and minus 1500 as a million equal to zero and I want to use a discrimination and uh, uh, from this yeah sorry from discrimination I am going to obtain as 64.17 meter meter okay as the length and the conversion from this equation to here actually when you multiply it with this when you divide this uh, 0 0.03 over 16 sorry 13.4 you are going to obtain a smallest number and you have to convert it to here when you solve it you're going to understand how it's going to be and now we solve due to Dagen's equation also this is uh, this part is math okay this part is math so let's uh, solve it due to uh, Hugo Hugo's equation sorry yeah due to Hugo's equation and here we are going to uh, solve this part due to assumption yeah, for example, we are going to assume the length as 50, 60, 70, and we are going to obtain the uh, the exact length, what it has, what it has to be. <clears throat> so uh, first I'm going to write here as the formulation, and then we are going to we are going to write and uh, determine that. First I'm going to find the C value that I need. C is equal to uh, 3.55 minus 1.6 multiplied d over l i'm just going to write the formula and i'm i'm i won't uh, solve the whole part okay just i'm going to write and i'm just uh, write the uh, the values because the formulation will be the same and we will just uh, rewrite them so and for the equivalent depth 1 plus d over l multiply 2.55 ln uh, d over r0 and minus c okay now this is the formulation of equivalent depth and let's write the formulation of uh, l l square equal to 4k multiplied uh, sorry i have another parenthesis d plus h square minus d e square over q yeah <clears throat> this will be like that and this is also the formulation of l, l but we are going to assume we are going to assume look at here we are going to assume a length okay and we are going to obtain a d over l value and we are going to obtain a c value and we are going to obtain a equivalent depth value due to the the length that we assumed and we are going to obtain an exact length so uh, for example we are going to obtain as sorry we are going to assume assume as 50 meter okay this is the length assumption so 50 meter the assumption of the length we are going to obtain dl value to obtain c it's going to be 0.134 because it's easy look at here 6.7 this is d dl value is going to be d over l 6.7 over 50 0.134 okay this is easy so c then i'm going to write here dl value and i'm going to obtain c it's going to be 3.37 
and uh, I'm just going to write here uh, this will be in the units of uh, R0 will be in the units of meter but here in the question it's written as uh, R0 as written 6.25 centimeter but I'm gonna convert it to meter okay it has to be in meter because all the units are meter so DE will be equal to 4.93 and the length will be 71.27 and uh, for also we are gonna uh, obtain a 60 as you can see there's a lot of big differences between 50 and 71.27 so let's assume a 60 okay and the new length is 60 that I assumed so it's going to be 0.11 d over l ratio and i'm gonna obtain c is equal to 3.4 and i'm gonna obtain d e is equal to 3.45 and the length will be 60. and now you can see i obtained the 60 to 60 okay because this question this question i have solved before so I just re, uh, I just uh, try to make you understand the how is the question will be solved as uh, when uh, the length is not given you are going to make an assumption you are going to uh, you are going to apply the formulation for each length that you assumed okay but look at here I uh, applied the formulation for fifty for each formulation okay and then I obtained seventy one point twenty seven exact uh length so it is not correct so i'm just going to uh, make it until i find the right one so it's not a um, sufficient way but uh, this question is solved like that the question is solved thank you for watching if you like these videos if you want to see more of the videos please subscribe and share with your friends uh, see you for the next question